boosts energy levels. Coffee fruit extract fuels brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is like growth fertilizer for crucial brain connectors. And Yamada B Farm Propolis supports the development of nerve tissue and helps protect the brain. NeuroQ is the first and only total brain support supplement designed to both protect and enhance healthy brain cognition as we age. Taking NeuroQ, um, I, I feel the difference. I'm more focused. My multitasking ability has improved, and that I definitely feel. Taking the NeuroQ, I've had more of ability to concentrate on what I'm doing, complete a task, and not get as distracted either. I take this, this, this supplement, NeuroQ, and I'm telling you, it works wonders for you. So it, it makes me think feel better. I can't believe I'm in the age that I am now. I feel like I'm in my 60s. At Life Seasons, we believe your brain health is quite simply priceless, which is why for the very first time ever, Dr. Bredesen and Life Seasons are making NeuroQ available to everyone for only $69.95 at Life Seasons. We believe we don't need to change nature. Nature's smart, and science is validating or proving what nature has already figured out. Call or go online in the next six minutes to try NeuroQ and save an additional $20. So you'll pay just $49.95. We're so certain you'll love NeuroQ and will notice the difference right away. During this limited time offer, you can get a second month of NeuroQ brain supplement absolutely free. That's right, a second month of the NeuroQ Brain Supplement absolutely free. You'll also receive step three of the NeuroQ Total Brain Support System, Dr. Bredesen's Lifestyle Roadmap for Healthy Brain Cognition. It includes information and guides on seven key lifestyle changes that help nurture healthy brain function. Plus, customize your NeuroQ journey with additional reports, guides, mobile apps, and resources with Dr. Bredesen's online program for prevention of cognitive decline. In a clinical study of NeuroQ Brain Supplement plus Dr. Bredesen's simple lifestyle changes, participants saw over a 30% improvement in working memory in just 90 days. Call or go online to order now, and we'll even include free shipping right to your door. NeuroQ comes with a full 90-day money-back guarantee. That's how certain we are. NeuroQ will work for you. Look, we've made it easy for you. In less than a minute, you can find out your brain score with our free NeuroQ quiz. No strings attached, no obligation. That's my promise to you. Call or go online now to get started with your free NeuroQ quiz with your confidential results in just 60 seconds. Also, get a one-month supply of the NeuroQ Brain Supplement. Plus, get a second-month supply of the NeuroQ Brain Supplement absolutely free. And Dr. Bredesen's Lifestyle Roadmap and Resources for just $49.95. And free shipping right to your door. That's a total value of over $100 for only $49.95. Call 1-800-472-1872 or go online now to NeuroQ.com. That's 1-800-472-1872 or NeuroQ.com right now. The proceeding was a paid presentation for NeuroQ, brought to you by Life Seasons. This station is not responsible for and does not endorse any claims, products, or advertisers mentioned in this program, and disclaims any liability for any representations, availability, conditions, and or quality. Hi, William Shatner here. It's the Medicare annual enrollment period, and this year, it's simple. One, before the deadline, call the number below. Two, check your zip code for a Medicare Advantage plan with prescriptions, dental care, and the benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every month. Three, you'll find out what you're eligible for. AEP has a deadline. Call now. I called to find a plan that covers more of my dental expenses. I call every year to make sure my doctor is still in my plan. I called to find a plan with lower copays. I called to see if my zip code has a plan with the benefit that adds money back to my Social Security check. I call every year to make sure my plan's copays didn't go up. Millions of people have called the Medicare Coverage Helpline. You should, too. AEP has a deadline, so don't delay. Call now. Call 1-800-300-2017. That's 1-800-300-2017 now.
Austin FC Chase for the Cup, sponsored by Gel Blaster. Live from Los Angeles, California, the Austin FC legend is growing one historic win at a time. And tonight, well, to put it frankly, it is the biggest game in program history. It is a Western Conference final. He's Tyler Feldman. I'm Jeff Jones. And we are here live for, like I said, the biggest game in Austin FC history, a Western Conference final showdown between Austin FC and LAFC. Jeff, certainly hard to believe this story. Austin had a year one to year two. Second to last in year one. Second place here in year two. Who would have thought that Austin FC would be playing in Los Angeles against the Supporters' Shield winner, LAFC, in the Western Conference Final? This place, Bank of California Stadium, is about to get turned up a little bit. We've got the Verde fans here. We've got the LAFC fans. Players about to take the field. And it's kind of like that Hollywood storyline, Jeff. Yeah. Because we're in LA. We checked out the Hollywood side yesterday. We did. And now we're here. And kind of like Austin SC is got to finish writing that Hollywood movie script. Yeah, you mentioned that Hollywood sound. We posted it all over social media. You can check it out at Jeff Jones Sports or on Tyler's Twitter. And we've had fun here in LA. And you mentioned it's like a Hollywood story, kind of like Aladdin, going from rags yeah. to riches. We'll see if they can pull a, a genie out of the bottle in this game. Uh -huh. And you mentioned the fact that Austin FC's turnaround has been incredible. Not many teams can go from the bottom of the chart to top contenders in one season, but that's exactly what Austin FC has done. You know, just a few short months ago, the Verde and Black were feared by exactly no one. They were a second-year club, fresh off of a 24th place finish, and that's out of only 27 teams. But this season, where they're one of the final four left standing, head coach Josh Wolf says, despite those struggles in 2021, they are right where they're supposed to be in 2022. It's deserved by these players. It should be LAFC against Austin FC in the semifinal. And um, they were the two best teams in the West all year. And the consistency was there. And it's going to be a great opportunity for our team. Our guys are very excited by it. Uh, we got a pretty pretty healthy group. And, and, and we'll go to LAFC and do everything we can to put ourselves in a position to win a trophy. That is right, guys. It could be trophy time here in L.A. And if it is trophy time, we'll, of course, be on the field and be able to show you that celebration live right here on KVU. Tyler, the only thing standing in the way of Austin FC picking up the biggest trophy in franchise history so far is a team in LAFC that Austin's had a tad bit of recent success against. Yes, some success, a tad bit of recent success. <laughs> Come on now. Austin FC 2-0 mm -hmm. against the best team in Major League Soccer this season. Pretty incredible. 2-1 win the first time around here in L.A. 4-1 win back in Austin. So, Julio Cascante said it earlier this week. They're playing the best team in the league. But we'll have to see if they can win a third time this season. Again, those were Julio Cascante's words. The best team in the league. In that first meeting, like I said, it was Ruben Gonrolson and Diego Fagundes who scored the goals in that 2-1 victory. Then the second match, Q2 Stadium, the Verde and Black, late August, Fagundes, Sebastian Riusi, and two goals from Maxi Rudy. That was a 4-1 win for the Verde and Black. But the key is not letting that confidence turn in cockiness this third time around. Hey, Corey, take a picture of it, send it to Gusky. There's something that we got to flip on my camera that'll make it work. We beat them yep. twice, uh, but we cannot sleep on that, right? We we know the the playoff games is completely different games. We've shown we can hurt them, and 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 I use that word not not lightly. But we we we've scored goals, we've created opportunities, um, we've won games. A hundred percent, we're gonna uh, try to get and do whatever we have in our hands to, to make it happen, to, to make this city happy. Yeah, Tyler, they want the city happy. And you know what? It's not just the fans who are back in Austin who they want to make happy. There are plenty of fans here in, in Bank of California Stadium. Yeah, they're stuck up in the corner. They couldn't bring their instruments <laughs> in. LAFC is definitely trying to make this a, a home game, a home environment. That's that's part of the Major League Soccer playoffs game. You, you can't bring some of that stuff in. But I know they'll be loud up in that top left corner. LAFC, though, 13-2-2 two two here at Bank of California Stadium this season. That's the best home mark in the league. So it'll be a tall task to see if Austin FC can win a second game here in this uh, the stadium here and, today. And you can definitely feel the home environment here. It's loud. A lot of people are wearing black and gold. It's going to feel like a home atmosphere here, but it's going to feel like a black and Verde home game in QC Stadium. And that's where my friend Pamela home is right now. Pamela, it's loud here, and I know it's loud there. How is it uh, at QC Stadium? 
Hey, Jeff and Tyler. Oh, yes, it is loud here. I got some friends to show you some of their favorite chants over here. You hear that? How are you feeling about today's game? Estamos listos como siempre para representar a Austin, to represent Austin the way it should be. Listos verde and black, yes! How many games have you been to? Uh, we're season ticket holders. We've been to every game preseason for the last two years. Well, uh, we're never going to give those tickets up because this is everything in our lives. So. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I know. And tell me a little bit about what you got going on here. It's verde gear. That's all we have. You look in our closet. That's all we have, man. That's all. It's it's in our blood. It's it's part of our lives. It's it's ingrained in us. So, so it's just a normal day. We're not <laughs> just a normal day. But I love it. The verde and black. And then when it comes to you know the culture that this brings, the people that this brings together. I mean, what do you think about that? Right. People. From no. All right. Over? When when all this started. With it, one of the main factors was it was going to bring the people together from all the way from Del Valley all the way, and all the way to Lake Travis and everyone in between. It's it's bringing the people together. It's the, while there's only 11 players on the pitch, there's a whole community behind them and supporting them, and that and we're with them. And the boys are going to get it done today and vamos verde, vamos. Yes, of course. And then any last couple of words, Mr. Matador. Verde es un sentimiento clavado en mi corazón. A ganar, a ganar. Okay. Bear, lots of excitement here, but I know over there in the West Coast, there's even more, so I'll take it back over to you guys. <laughs> Jeff, Tyler. There's more excitement here. I, I love to hear what I was hearing there. You started off with a dale, 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 ATX. Oh, love that is. chant. We're not hearing the organized chants here, but we did hear this place erupt into uh, some booze recently. Yeah, Austin FC took the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> They're wearing the cool Verde kits for the first time this season against LAFC. And those two wins earlier this season, they wore their classic Verde and Black. That's right. Rice kit. So we'll see if Austin FC can Switch it up, put yeah. the Cool Verde on. We'll stay cool here and have a lot more, right? Yeah, we'll definitely have a lot more. I'm hoping the Cool Verde brings a, a cool, good luck oh, energy. Yeah. And on the other side of the break, we're going to talk about some cool guys. How about Matthew McConaughey and Will Ferrell? We'll talk about their rivalry off the pitch. And we recently, within the last 30 or 45 minutes, caught up with Austin FC head coach Josh Wolf and their goalkeeper Brad Stuber. We have those interviews coming up for you right here on the pregame show after the break. This is Surge. It's packed with all of the latest tech from Gel Blaster. That means epic gameplay, like nothing else out there. Does it hurt? Just a little, but that's what makes it so fun. Surge holds over 800 gelets. Activate full auto mode to rapidly blast gelets more than 100 feet. There's no cleanup required whatsoever. Surge gives you the ultimate blaster experience, period. Surge is available at Target, Walmart, and Amazon. NetSpend notification? Yep, just got paid. Direct deposit to my NetSpend card. Got my money two days faster than I used to with a paper check. Which means I can finally get a puppy. Car insurance. Sofa. Utilities. Massage. Rent. Maybe you can pay your bills on time for a change. Get the NetSpend All Access account for your everyday mobile banking needs. Add cash, checks, and get paid up to two days earlier with direct deposit. Get started today at NetSpend.com. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get 1,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. If your pets have turned your floors into an eyesore, we got some tricks in our tool belt. 54 now has the newest hardwood, tile, laminate, luxury vinyl, and carpet. 54 brings hundreds of samples to your home to see in your own life. 54 will do all the heavy lifting for you, and they can get most jobs done in a day. They'll even clean up afterwards. Call today to get 60% off new floors. 54 is home improvement done right. Call 877-54. The phone will be knocking at your door.
Inventory is back at Roger Beasy Mazda. The vehicle shortage has been difficult for everyone, but we've always maintained our commitment to sell Mazdas at fair prices. That's why we have never priced over MSRP and we never will. Mazda has rewarded us and the Austin market with a fresh allotment of new Mazdas. So come on by or visit our website to find the Mazda you've been wanting and you'll get a great deal too. Visit Roger Beasy Mazda today. Three convenient locations with a forthcoming soon in Leander. RogerBeasyMazda.com. Game show. He's Tyler Fielman. I'm Jeff Jones, and we are coming to you live from LA, California, the site of this year's Western Conference Final Showdown between Austin FC and LAFC. Now, many fans of the Verde and Black know that the team's motto is Grow the Legend, and they've done their part to grow this legend this season, pulling off a turnaround that no fans expected. Many teams around the league didn't expect, and Austin head coach Josh Wolf has been very honest with us, telling us that even the team couldn't have predicted they would make it this far. Yeah, Jeff, earlier this week, chatting with head coach Josh Wolf. He said that he didn't think his team was this ambitious. They were ambitious to have a better season than that year one second to last place finish. Make the playoffs. Make right? the playoffs. That was the goal this season. But again, he said the team wasn't this ambitious. No one thought, not even Josh, I think, when he was being honest with us, thought that they'd be in this spot right now, Western Conference Final, against the best team in the league, a team that was expected to be in this position. But if you look at the numbers, if you look at how this all played out for Austin FC, it makes sense that they're here today, Jim. Last year, the team's inaugural season, again, second to last in the standings. Those nine wins to 21 losses, four draws. They scored just 35 goals, but they gave up 56 goals. Numbers that aren't too great, but this year, well, it's a completely different story. Distinct improvement on offense and defense. Austin FC finished the regular season second in the Western Conference. Well, that's because of this record you see on the screen. 16 wins, 10 losses, and 8 ties. That's the third most goals in all of Major League Soccer with 65, and they only allowed 49. Now, one key reason for this huge turnaround is experience. Austin has one of the oldest rosters in the league, and that has helped when it matters most. There's character, there's leadership that these players bring, there's experience, there's a calmness, what you like to see now in training sessions and in games. These guys putting their arms around younger guys, younger players, Johnny Gallagher's, the Nick Lima's, guys that have been in the league for a bit that maybe haven't had this experience and, and felt the weight uh, that comes with playoffs and playing in these types of uh, games. And it's up to the players, obviously, to perform, but it's invaluable to have these experienced players and, and, and obviously um, the humility that they have, I think, is also a big part of why we've had success. I think that that's some uh, some great insight from head coach Josh Wolf. You know, he's done a lot of things correctly, and the producers in the booth, I'm sorry, we're going off script a little bit here because, Tyler, we got to talk about something that we've talked about many times off there, and that's uh, how disappointed we are in the MLS for not letting Josh Wolf be a finalist for the Major League Soccer Coach of the Year award. Yeah, Jeff, when that came out a couple weeks ago, it was hard to fathom just because you understand the Philadelphia Union's head coach won it. Sure. You understand that. It made sense. One of their best seasons ever. But for Josh Wolf to take this team from a first-year team, inaugural season, from what they accomplished last year, which was little goals, to what they accomplished this year, yeah. in my mind, no doubt Josh Wolf deserves to be head coach of the year. Or at least a finalist, at for sure. At least a finalist, in my mind, coach of the year. He did a great job uh, with his players on the field and off the field. They took big steps with their mentality. A moment ago, I had a chance to chat one-on-one -on -one with head coach Josh Wolf. I didn't ask him about being shorted on the finalist list, but I did ask him about the steps he's, the steps he's taking with his team both on the field, actually playing soccer, and off the field with their mindsets. Austin FC head coach Josh Wolf joining us just minutes before this Western Conference final. And Josh, we were just talking about how loose everybody is. Is that is that a good thing to have uh, the calmness before the storm here? I hope so. I hope the energy's been good. We, we've had our families with us. I think that also helps them kind of settle into what this could be be about. Um, you you want to perform. You want to be comfortable. You want to be excited by the opportunity. Uh, you got to bring energy and discipline. And, and the guys are in a good space. So now it's about going out and performing. And speaking of the space that they're in, we know that you put a lot of uh, focus on the mental side of the game. What mentality would you like them to have going through their minds? Is there a, a mantra or something that you want in the front of their minds during these 90 minutes? Yeah, I think the first thing is the intensity in the moment. Um, it's it's going to be difficult at the beginning. Understand there's a lot of emotion and energy in the stands, as there is when we play at home. But um, be mindful, be organized, be um, be resolute when it's difficult, but but obviously provide real energy when, when we can make an impact. But the guys have done this all year. It's, it's now about just performing and doing what they've done all year and at an exceptional level, and, and we'll be in a good space once this game starts. Now, before we travel 
quote out from Austin earlier this week. You were open with the fact that you have hurt this team before. Yeah. We've seen you beat them twice. How much will you change strategically from what's worked in the past? There's some variations in there. I think we've we've utilized a few different things against them. Um, it's it's a different game because of it's a playoff, and it's now about moving into the MLS Cup. Uh, goals change games. We, we know we need to score goals. This isn't a team that you can sit back on. So when the opportunities are there to press, we got to press. When the opportunities are there to play, we got to play. Um, but also understand that they're quite good. So uh, balanced, balanced attack and a complete performance is what's required. And um, nothing else is expected. You're trying to play for an MLS Cup. Ahead of the game when the team's out there warming up, what is your what are your eyes on? What are you looking for to know that, that they're ready for this moment? Um, I think the preparation lets us know they're ready for the moment. The work, the body of work they've done over the course of the season, the last two playoff games, lets us know they're ready for this moment. It's, it's more about controlling the emotions um, when you get on the field, just being able to think and execute what we've worked on. And, and again, know that it's going to be an ebb and flow to this game and, and be ready for anything. But um, these guys are ready. Once the whistle starts, it, it'll, it'll be good for them. And last one for you, Josh. The Verde and Black move on and extend this season one more week if... Complete performance. I think we hit the. If we can get on the board early, get on the board first. We'll make it difficult to them, but we're going to need a complete performance. 90 minutes, 120 minutes, whatever is needed. Um, we we, we got to be able to bring it. Head coach Josh Wolf just minutes before kickoff, making time for KVU. Yeah, I appreciate absolutely. you, coach. My pleasure. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Good luck. We'll see All you right. next time. Appreciate it. Like you said, a complete 90 minutes is what the team and the coaching staff are looking for today. What I really enjoyed about that interview and what was so telling to me is that he seemed like Josh Wolf, which seems like a, an easy thing to say. He is Josh Wolf, of course he'll be Josh Wolf. But in these big moments, sometimes players and coaches get a little uptight. That wasn't his his vibe, his feeling. And we saw the players walk in, they all look loose. I think if they take that loose um, energy that we are used to seeing onto the pitch today, they'll take a huge step forward and grow that legend by one more game. And Jeff, you have to remember, Remember Josh Wolf won an MLS Cup back in 98. He's been here. He's an accomplished soccer player, and he started becoming a very accomplished soccer head coach here in this league. Now, you can't talk about growing the legend without talking about Brad Stuber. The goalkeeper has been Verde since the very beginning. His play between the pipes has been sensational this season, but it's been his play, his community service outside the box that's really been incredible. I had a chance to catch up with Brad right before Jeff caught up with head coach Josh Wolf to see and hear how he feels heading to this match. All right, here with Austin FC goalkeeper Brad Stuber. Brad, you've been in this moment, this stage before, the experience. How does that lend to the other players on this team right now? Yeah, I think we have a lot of different guys that have been in situations like this before, and um, we've been battle-tested throughout the entire year, and just even our last two games, uh, it's something that we've been building towards, so I think we're going we're gonna to come out, and we're going to show our resiliency, and it's going to be a good game. How are you feeling right now? Good. Uh, it's always good to get into the stadium, feel the energy, see a lot of Verde fans out there, so uh, we're, we're ready. You ready to finish this Hollywood script the right way in L.A.? Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, our eyes are on three points and moving on to the MLS Cup Final. That's it. Brad Stuber, Austin FC goalkeeper. Good luck, Brad. Thank you. Brad Stuber, maybe he's got a Hollywood script writing career after his soccer career is over. We'll see what he can accomplish between the pipes tonight. Now, Jeff, I saw on social media, Manny, the barber, he, he cuts a bunch of the guy's hair. I saw Fibbe Barnes was getting that fresh cut earlier this morning on the IG, the Instagram. He was showing off. I'm excited to see what his hair looks like. But uh, you had a chance to cut it up with him uh, somewhere else. On the grill. Yeah. yeah. You know, you, you mentioned the haircuts and the grill, and it's really cool how this team bonds off the field through things like group haircuts. They bring the team barber to the practice facility. They get manicures and pedicures together, and they host team barbecues. And one of the pit masters is Felipe Martins, fresh cut Felipe. I guess we could call him today. And Fresh Cut Felipe told me about one of the uh, more interesting Brazilian cuts of meat, Macanha. Check out our edition of Game Day Grill. It's that time again, time to master another barbecue recipe that you can show off at your next game day watch party. And today, a local athlete shares tips that he learned over 5,000 miles away. Let's see what we're cooking up on Game Day Grilling. If you've ever been to a Brazilian steakhouse, chances are you've tried and enjoyed picanha. It's the very top of the sirloin. It has a beefy, meaty muscle and a pretty thick fat cap. Now this is not a common cut of meat, so we can't afford to mess it up. The stakes are just too high. Austin FC's Felipe Martins was born and raised in Brazil. He's done this a time or two. He gives us step one to making a great picanha. The fresher, the better. 
you know, I, I look for when it was cut it, or actually buy the big piece and you cut yourself the way you like. We're cutting the picanha with the grain. We'll slice it against the grain when it's time to eat. Once you've created a few fairly equal sized steaks, it's time to add a little bit of flavor. And if we're doing this the authentic way, well, there's only one seasoning to reach for. One of the things that uh, a lot of Brazilian people that they do, we only use salt. We don't use anything else. A good meat doesn't need any type of uh, condiments. It's just like the the salt and that's it. So we salt the steaks all over, let them rest at room temperature for about 15 minutes before taking them outside and placing them on a hot grill. We're cooking these hot and fast around 500 degrees. I use a cast iron griddle for even cooking in a better sear, though I sometimes finish the steaks directly on the grill. Now, if you like yours cooked medium like I do, pull them off around 138 degrees internal temperature. Then comes a step that I'll admit was new to me. And after you cook, you actually kind of like tap the meat so the, the excess of uh, salt that didn't went to the meat, you take them out. I guess I'll do anything to make sure this picanha isn't just meaty ochre. And that includes giving it a little tap. After the cooking, the tapping and the slicing comes my favorite part. Time to give these steaks a little taste. Unfortunately, I, I asked Felipe if he had some picanha with him today. Uh, he wasn't eating steak pregame. I'm sure the pregame meal was a little uh, healthier, maybe lighter than that. But I am glad that he gave me all of that knowledge. Uh, yeah, Jeff. Where, where are we going with all this knowledge that you're throwing out of here? You know what? I thought you were going to ask me for leftovers. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm taking up that appetite right okay, now. Okay, okay. Well, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll satisfy your appetite for more awesome FC knowledge on the other side of the break. We mentioned Will Farrell and Matthew McConaughey earlier. I believe we're going to have that story for you on the other side of the break. And we're going back to Pamela Cohn, who is still at Q2 Stadium. All that and more straight ahead in the Austin FC Live postgame pregame show. <laughs> A Cadillac is more than a statement. It's a celebration of self-expression and a declaration of your independence. So choose to be bold and choose to be exactly who you are. Get 2.99% APR for 60 months on most 2023 Cadillac models. Visit your local Cadillac dealer today. Get that great Mack Hike feeling today at Mack Hike Ram of Georgetown. When inventory is ramping up during our Ram Power Days event. Brand new 2022 Ram 1500 Lone Star Crew Cab for only $631.47 monthly. $7,500 off MSRP plus 2.9% APR for 72 months through Chrysler Capital. Take the scenic route during our Jeep Adventure Days event. Save and drive on the brand new Jeep Gladiator Rubicon 4x4 and take $5,600 off MSRP dealer discount. Only at your local Mack Hike Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Georgetown. NetSpend notification? Yep, just got paid. Direct deposit to my NetSpend card. Got my money two days faster than I used to with a paper check. Which means I can finally get a puppy. Car insurance. Sofa. Utilities. Massage. Rent. Maybe you can pay your bills on time for a change. NetSpend All Access Account. An FDIC insured account for your everyday mobile banking needs. No cost to open, no credit check, and no minimum balance. Get started today at NetSpend.com. This is Surge. It's packed with all of the latest tech from Gel Blaster. That means epic gameplay, like nothing else out there. Does it hurt? Just a little, but that's what makes it so fun. Surge holds over 800 gelets. Activate full auto mode to rapidly blast gelets more than 100 feet. There's no cleanup required whatsoever. Surge gives you the ultimate blaster experience, period. Surge is available at Target, Walmart, and Amazon. Central Texas continues to grow. That's why KVU created Boomtown. To keep you on top of the constant change. Boomtown stories are people stories. People who've lived here for generations. And those looking for a place to call home. People pushing for progress and the ones feeling pushed out. We're showing you how this insane growth is affecting your life, your family. So we can work to make it better. Boomtown, a series that breaks down what's new, what's next. And why it matters now. All month long on KVU.
welcome back to our Austin FC live pregame show. We are here in LA at Bacon California Stadium, ahead of the Western Conference Final between Austin FC and LAFC, which is becoming a budding rivalry. But Tyler, these two teams have had a rivalry long before they stepped on the pitch again.